place your bets on more than 15 esports games using the worldwide payments and even Bitcoin. We offer 24 7 support and bonuses for every new user. Best esports bets on gg.bet. Yeah, we've uh, replaced our Rubik from yesterday with a shaker. Assessment here on to Ace. Uh, throwing oh, out nice match to match. They should body block, oh, I think. Oh, they can't oh. get him. They sh can potentially still find this kill. Right clicks come through, and that is going to be first blood. Going oh, top? No, maybe next time's invis. Anoya, Fisher. Oh, able to find him. Well played. Great room for a shaker. Maybe next time we have a fan like camp mid or something rather than going home, but could have ran into trouble. Baby Knight, nice Fisher. Maybe next time. Making the plays mid. Oh my goodness. Well done there. 12 minutes in, 8 to 3. And Ad Finum are just looking to be all over the map. And this is one of the things that this just super mobile draft affords you, particularly the fact off. But you spot out Noya. And well, there's maybe next time. Gets him with the Enchant Totem. Trying to find it. Not going to be there. Noya. He finally ends up crushing maybe next time. But I don't think it's going to be enough to allow him to escape. They find the kill. Skylark picks it up. Oh, Dark Rift? Uh, Noya. Be a little bit caught out here. Are they going to be able to find the kill? It's not quite the relocate. Uh, okay. Fine. Ace also oh, dropping nice. low. They do get the kill. All right. Well played. Yeah, now, Omni back in 12. This would be a tough kill onto Ace, though. And this might just be more Bloodstone. Oh, my charities. God. Skylar going to drop as well. So. The newly minted Bloodstone now going to start to accelerate in charges. Waste of money, you know? Like, yeah. Omni is just going to be with me the entire time. I want to just go max aggressive as they go full aggro onto Skylark. Uh, they do have a relocate that's coming in, though, and Hesta Joe is going to pop the Guardian Angel. Skylark will die to this one, so 15 Bloodstone charges now looking for Spartan as well to see if they can bring him down. As they have damage, there's no running away. And this is something that we've seen time and Oh, this is what happens when you only have one pushing hero in that Shadow Fiend, and he ends up getting picked off. Exorcism there, Hesta Joe drop low, but Noya is also going to be one taking a lot of damage here, and it does look like with the Spirits, they're going to be able to push him back for the moment, trying to run through. If they could kill off Ace, that would be quite significant, but eyes on the prize, they turn back to the Tier 3. Exorcism still a good amount of the way going. Yeah, Ace just needs to watch Fisher cooldowns, as well as the cooldown of the Pit, too, because they're huge control cooldowns for the Radiant. Oh, nice Fisher. They take down Noya. Ace runs back forward. Oh, good blink away by maybe next time. Not going to get caught by that. The CM ulti trying to do as much as they can. And Ghoul Scepter is going to keep DP alive. Moon's going to get healed back up by those spirits coming back in towards him. This Spartan drop low is going to die. And now Thug also turned upon. They throw at the Guardian Angel. A nice Echo Slam onto four. Maybe next time trying to save the day. It gives them enough time to get out. Unfortunately, the cores are still left here. Madara takes down Rise and ring around the tree. But that might end up being the death of him can they find the kill they do that's ages down now and no well he doesn't have a spin he might be able to get out of here with this one amp damage now on top of him oh maybe next time saving the day yet again hit him is down has to still chasing and ace is gonna look for the kill here he's already up to 19 bloodstone charges and turns back to secure the one on skylark this should be a pretty quick and easy takeaway Meanwhile, over here to the side, Hesta Joe shouldn't be able to kill off Madara, I don't believe. Omni Slash, actually. They don't have Guardian Angel anymore. Hesta Joe dope way too deep. No creep wave, no nothing. Can they find that kill? Nah, it's not going to happen. Spartan? He's now going to go down as well. Uh, all right, Ad Finum. They take down the Tier 3 tower, and they end up losing almost their entire team off of this. Oh, Ace. Nice duels. Dara. They crush. Not going to hit. He should escape. Well, Ace is going to try and bait this to bring in everyone. Are they smoked? No, oh, they're just running. 
Oh god. All right, well, there comes the ulti out from Thug. He's going to be able to keep kept alive for the moment. They're all stuck in a corner and no way out for most of them as they try and jump out and away. Noya is going to get Jason upon. They have the Omni Slash on the other side. Going to be able to almost bring that Baby Knight. Oh, good Glimmer Cape from Rise. Able to keep his buddy alive. Baby Knight still trying to run and they're going to continue the chase up on the top side of the fight. They have already been able to bring down Noya with Thug and Ace is able to kill off Spartan over here to the side. Back Madara to Madara. in trouble. He is going to end up falling. The Glimmer cape from rise saving the day that probably would have been able to take down baby knight oh yeah. left alone here does have a four staff if he needs to get out so we'll be able to make the escape ace jumps into the middle of all of them pops pkb trying to stay alive baby knight is just hitting away on the tower though they aren't really able to deal with them ace is just a big meat shield right in the way of them at beast uh, or, excuse me echo slam again ready to jump if they want to go for it is the well, bkbs are almost down requiem of souls comes out that's going to break the blink dagger can still chase, but it's feeling pretty rough from them for the moment. They have used the, oh, oh God, Guardian Angel comes out. It, it looked like a good okay for the second, but maybe next time jumps in. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. Baby Knight actually is gonna go down there. And Doug Ulti is still dropping as well. Ace getting ran after the Omni Slash onto Hesta Joe, almost able to find the kill. He eats the cheese, staying alive, four step away. And well, still maybe next time making these plays for his team, trying to get him out of there, buys back into the game. Skylark controlling them up. Thug still dealing a lot of damage to Hestajo and everybody else getting healed up from that Spirit Siphon, but it's not going to end up being enough. Yule Scepter back in. Damage is there. Thug goes down and everybody from Cloud9 still alive. Question is, can maybe Nexon clean up anyone else? I feel like, I feel like he's going to snipe someone the second I try and start talking, but okay, we're good. This, uh, this whole fight, I think, really exemplifies why this draft works so well and how you can really make that safe lane Timbersaw function. Because talk about how it means you don't get a secondary right clicker, but they have this Omni Knight just sitting on Baby Knight the whole time, and it's a, the Ace is a tank. He, he's just in here, he's disrupting any sort of initiation on top of Baby Knight. They can't deal with him at all. And yeah, he's yeah. not hitting buildings, but Baby Knight, he's got a Butterfly, he's got BKB, he had an Aegis, he's got an Omni Knight backing him up. Noya with these amazing crushes as well throughout these fights. Yeah, <laughs> do it. He whiffs a massive crush. <laughs> well, these things happen. In the meantime, though, they killed off maybe next time. So that's a dieback for him. He's gone for 50 seconds. And I mean, they'll get the relocate out. But at this point, it's GG. And at Finum, they looked good starting out. It was a little bit rough in the mid game. And it went to even further rough uh, as the game continued on. And Cloud9 take game number one. Friend. Is this something where you need to think about the first phase ban on the Timber Saw? They, they probably are still going to want to take the Meepo out of the pool, considering the Cloud9 have run that a lot. But is the, are those your two first bans for Adfinum? I think if you really want to keep going... ...more control. Some vision up here to the side as there was a stun that came out chasing after maybe next time. They found him. In some trouble, they aren't quite in range for Stormhammer if you wanted to level it up and not going invis as of yet. Dust still almost gone and Fade Time will be there. He's trying to get out. Oh my goodness. They find oh. the kill. Oh, nice play there. Rise and Noya. They're going to actually go on to Hestajo for the moment. It would be great if they could pick up and take down Ace and Spartan is actually going to run into him right there as the stun comes out. They realize that that's what they're going for and trying to take down Hestajo. They are going to go for the Actually, Rage, they do find that kill with the Fade Bolt coming through. Still Sven focused on those Ancients. They were able to take it all the way down. Noya in some trouble. It's going to die. They have the Global up, but four heroes still here from Adfinum. If they can somehow manage to take this fight, it'd be a bit too scary around the Shrine. So this is not given away at all. And we look again to fight near a Shrine. Oh, but they will leave it. So this is a, a benefit for Adfinum. Ace here. I think you, you need a delay, though.
mad. Yeah, Ace had a hell of a day today. First he's that Timbersaw game, now he goes 12-0-5 on stun. Certainly helped out by his squad. You know, always working and playing around him, but a very nice individual effort. Didn't get caught out a single time this game. Uh, the other movement of the four heroes, though, like that, that combo break lineup, that's really the best way to look at this in my eyes. Dazzle, Earth.